Hello everybody and welcome back to Synapse. This is Ritika and in this video we're going to talk about coronavirus. Coronavirus is basically a family of viruses which is known to cause several symptoms in animals and humans. Well, is this the first time we're coming across the coronavirus? No. There are several other strains of coronavirus which has been bothering the humanity since several decades. To mention a few of the strains previously known to mankind, we have the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus. COVID-19 is a new strain that has been identified recently. Talking about the structure of COVID-19, you have the RNA in the nucleoprotein surrounded by an envelope containing the glycoprotein spikes. In the late 2019, clusters of pneumonia cases were seen in Wuhan, especially in people who were associated with animal and animal products. It was later identified that the causative agent was COVID-19. And as we know, it very soon spread all across China and now to so many countries. Currently, 146 countries are affected across the world. Looking at the numbers in China, there are around 81,000 cases, Italy 24,000 cases, in Iran there are around 14,000 cases, and in India there are around 107 cases. So how does this spread? Coronavirus disease is basically a zoonotic. That is, humans initially pick the disease from animals, such as bats, camels, cats, and several others. Human-to-human -human transmission happens by droplets. A healthy person could catch the infection by the droplets which are released by the unhealthy person while talking and coughing. These droplets do not travel too far. They go up to one meter distance, after which they settle on surfaces. A healthy person could pick the virus from those surfaces. The incubation period for this disease varies from 2 to 14 days, which means for these many days, after catching the infection, there are no signs and symptoms. In other words, it takes these many days for the signs and symptoms to develop after catching the infection. What are these signs and symptoms? It could be as simple as cold, cough, fever and breathlessness, or it could be pneumonia, severe acute respiratory syndrome, or it may even lead to death. The diagnosis of this disease is done by the principle of polymerase chain reaction. Well, if you have mild symptoms, then I think it is not wise that you get yourself tested because we are short of the diagnostic kits. Only if you have severe infection, it's suggested that you go to a healthcare setup and get yourself tested. If not, if it is just a mild cold or breathlessness, then just stay at home, isolate yourself and take care of yourself and be a hero. There are some really simple methods to prevent the spread of coronavirus disease. Point number one, do not touch your nose, mouth or eyes because getting the virus on your hands is not enough to transmit the disease. It should enter your body through the nose, mouth or eyes. Point number two, wash or cleanse your hands regularly with alcohol rub or soap and water for the same reason as mentioned earlier. Point number three, Social distancing is the most effective way of controlling the spread. Please strictly follow the corona break or self-quarantine declared by your respective governments and do not use this time for vacations or get-togethers. Your immunity might be good enough to fight the disease, but you may transmit it to people who cannot, such as very young children or old individuals. Point number four. Use napkins or tissues while you're coughing. Use masks wisely. A healthy person need not use the mask as it has no effect on transmission. So please hand out your mask to the ones who are sick because them wearing the mask reduces the transmission to a great extent. This act is very important because the demand is really high and we have really low resources. And this is not about one man game, it's a team game. Point number five, cook your animal products well before consumption. Point number six, Maintain hygiene while and after touching animals. We need not panic, but we definitely need to follow these steps to keep ourselves and people around us safe. Some people are suggesting that the government and media are overreacting and spreading the panic while it wasn't so during the swine flu pandemic or the H1N1 pandemic. Let me throw some light on that. 
Swine flu pandemic was one of the largest pandemics that the humanity has ever seen. It happened around a decade ago. The following are the reasons why the response is way more massive towards COVID-19 when compared to H1N1. First off, H1N1 pandemic was the first of that scale that we ever saw and we are definitely more prepared this time. Point number two, from April 2009 to April 2010, there were around 12,500 deaths because of H1N1 infection. While with COVID-19, there are already around 6,500 deaths. That is to say that the death rate or mortality rate with H1N1 was somewhere around 0.02% while that with Corona is around 2%. H1N1 was not as communicable as COVID-19. And also, the immunity to influenza virus was better as the virus was not very new to our human body. Well, that's not the case with COVID-19. Let nothing stop us from taking all the steps to stop the spread of the disease. There is no specific vaccine for coronavirus yet. But some virologists believe that influenza vaccine and pneumococcal vaccine has benefits up to some extent, at least to prevent secondary infections with influenza and pneumococcus. Talking about the treatment, one of the main reasons why the coronavirus disease is so dreaded across the world right now is that there is no specific treatment. We have to depend upon the supportive treatment. Along with the drugs that are taken for normal flu, chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine has been found to be beneficial in COVID-19 infection. Here we come to the end of this video. If you think I have left out anything, write it in the comments and please share the video with everybody you know because let's share knowledge and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe because you don't want to miss out on our next video thank you bye bye